big news of the week or of Monday, NVIDIA's flagship GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics card to feature Micron's fastest 21 gigabits per second GDDR6X memory. Here's the deal. Oh my goodness. Here's the deal. RTX 3090s have not, even the latest versions, have not shut off mining. They do not have light hash rate on like light hash rate models for the 3090. My hope here, especially if we're talking about the world's fastest performing memory ever in existence in a desktop line GPU, is that they would not put in a light hash rate lock for these 3090 Ti's. Let's go ahead and get into the article. It's coming from WCCF Tech. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti is going to be the grandest Ampere graphics card for gamers as well as miners. I add that one in. It will feature some insane specifications. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti to feature full blown Ampere GA102 GPU with Micron speedy 21 gigabit per second GDDR6 X memory chips. According to a tweet by Unico's Hardware, it looks like NVIDIA is going all out with its GeForce RTX 3090 Ti a new flagship that has been floating in the rumor mill for quite some time now. The new graphics card will house Micron's MT61 K512M32KPA-21U. I almost did it. Chips, which not only run at a faster clock speed, but also feature twice the capacity of what currently is what currently is featured on the RTX 3090 graphics card. We're talking about some fast memory, boys. Fast memory. Oh, yes. All right. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti alleged specifications. So this is all rumor alleged. We don't know it for sure, but let's get into it. First up, we have the NVIDIA RTX 3090 Ti, and this is expected to be a Titan class card once again. So we have the Copite 7 Kimi had previously stated that NVIDIA is unlikely to use the 3090 super naming convention and go with something else considering that this is one of the top tier products so the TI branding makes sense. As for the specs, 3090 super is expected to rock the full G102, GA102 GPU core with 10,752 cores and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, X memory. The memory will be faster clocked thanks to improved dies from Micron, pushing speeds past 20 gigabits per se second. The pricing may be kept the same at $14.99 US, but overall we are looking at minor 5% improvement. A previous rumor also stated that the RTX 3090 Super Graphics card will feature a TGP of over 400 watts. That's 50 watts more than the existing 3090, which means that we could be looking at faster clocks on GPU and VRAM. There's also been a rumor of brand new power connectors that will come in the microfit form factor, but it isn't going to look anything like the existing connector. The new 16 pin connector will be a PCIe Gen 5.0 ready and will offer some current stability for the next gen protocol, which is expected to be introduced on flagship cards. That PCI Gen 5.0, if we're talking about gaming, the only motherboards or chipset that supports that is going to be the Z690 motherboards. I actually have one back here, but that could be really exciting as well. It could also, like if this is true and it's going to be PCI Gen 5.0 and the Zen 3 Plus refreshed rumor is true of not upgrading to PCIe Gen 5 and DDR5 off the bat, it really is going to give Intel a, a, a leg up. I think in my in my humble opinion from like a PC builder perspective, but that's just kind of a, a quick thought. It could be wrong. A major change for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti would be the addition of two gigabytes of GDDR6X memory modules. Running at 21 gigabits per second will require more power and more power translates to higher temps. We have already seen how the VRAM temperatures on the RTX 3090 cards gets and especially the modules featured on the backside. 
Okay. Here's the deal. What happened to all the third party vendor engineers? Did they just disappear, or get lazy during COVID? That's what it feels like. Because like if I saw a card and this is like, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an engineer, but I take apart a lot of GPUs. And if I took apart, if I got a, a schematic that said, build a cooler for this GPU and I flipped the GPU over and there were memory modules on the back, I wouldn't throw a fucking plastic backplate over it. There we go. Demonetize. Don't care. That's a big deal. I'm still mad about it. All right. Still mad. Still mad. <laughs> all right. So having 21 gigabits per second memory chips would essentially give the card up to one terabyte a second of bandwidth. Oh my God. As for the launch, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti is expected to launch in January along with the RTX 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte variant. Expect pricing of the 3090 Ti to be just as insane as its specification. So let's see if we can, you know, let's see if we can do this. Scrolling over, there's a 3090 Ti. We're going to scroll down here. You got 936 gigabytes per second versus 1,008 gigabytes per second. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to make a prediction of how much hash rate the 3090 Ti will get? Because I think we can make the prediction because we have a prediction of total bandwidth. So we're going to go ahead and get our percent calculator up here, right? Bam. Let's do it. We can do this one. We've done these a few times. We've been right every time so far on, 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 the, on these. So this one should be easy. So all we really need to do is grab the 936 gigabytes per second. And we are going to say, uh, 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 that. and that so we need to figure out what is that percentage that is 107 percent of 936 so now we just need to know what 107 we'll just copy this whole thing of the 120 mega hash a second is there and calculate that out and then we should be seeing a hash rate of 130 mega hash a second okay not as big of a deal as maybe we think it might be right but I'm going to go ahead and predict the 3090 Ti will be somewhere around 130 mega hash a second based on the current calculations that, and numbers that we have available to us. Either way, it's super exciting to see faster memory coming along the line down the pipeline, especially if it starts getting put into lower end GPUs, especially those in a silicon ones that we were talking about a couple weeks ago. So Inosilicon's working on GDDR6X memory GPUs. They will be the only other manufacturer out, well, other, yeah, whatever, manufacturer outside of NVIDIA that is going to actually have GDDR6X at this time that we're aware of. And I think that will be a big, big deal. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.